Hi, my name is Russ, and I'm an intern here at Dickinson College working for the House Divided Project. And today, I'm going to show you how to make a word cloud using Tuxedo.com. And Tuxedo.com is one of the most popular websites for making word clouds. And for those of you that don't know what word clouds are, word clouds are graphic representations of word frequency found in, in a text or, or a document, meaning that they show which words occur the most often. And they're able to add more structure and creativity uh, whenever you do a close reading or an analysis of any, any kind of document. So we're here at tuxedo.com and what we're going to do is we're going to click create and it's going to automatically generate a sample word cloud for us but we want to put our own words in here so we're gonna click on this text box where it says enter text and then we're going to create a new tab and go to the Lincoln Writings website and today we're going to make a word cloud using both of Abraham Lincoln's inaugural addresses. So we're going to use the first one here. Click on that. And we're going to go to the transcription. And then we're going to highlight all of the text from that. Copy. We come back here and now we're going to click control V to paste it so we have the text from his first inaugural address and now we're going to go back and we're going to do the same thing here for his second one so again we get the the text from that and we copy and paste it control V and click submit and now it's going to generate a word cloud using all of the words from those okay and now what we're gonna do is we can reshape this word cloud and make it look the way that we want it to look so we can we can change the color it changes the colors of the individual words but what we want to do first is we're gonna go to theme and we can change the theme to anything that we want right now we're just gonna go black on white make it simple we can change the font lots of different fonts so I think we're gonna go with this for now and it's going to generate the word cloud using that font then we're gonna to go to orientation and we can make the words mostly horizontal vertical half and half or any and I think that's what it is now so we're gonna we're gonna make it any and then we can change the layout so that the words get scrambled up but it keeps the same shape like that but we want the shape to be different so we're going to go down here to shape and click this and they have a bunch of different shapes that we can choose from but what's cool about this is they actually have a picture of Abraham Lincoln so we're gonna go with that we're gonna click that and that generates a word cloud of Abraham Lincoln's face using all of his words from his two inaugural addresses and if we don't like the way that that looks we can uh, just click on this layout button and we can respin the layout so that it looks a little bit different and we can just keep going until we we find something that we like so uh, I think we'll just we'll stick with that for now and then once we get it to a place that we like 
then we can go up here and we can click save slash share and if we want to save it to um, to our desktop we can click this button but we can also uh, save it to the web so we can create a username and a title and then we can comment if we want to to describe it and what we're gonna put there is the maximum number of words that we used we're going to put the source of the document so where we found the document that we used and also your name who is created by and once we have that done then we just click submit and that's going to give us a new URL and so what we can do then is we can highlight the URL we can click control C to copy it okay and then we can go up to a new tab and we can paste the URL there click enter and it's gonna come to this page that has our word cloud in it and since some of these words are small they're hard to read we can just all we have to do is just put our mouse over it and um, it'll kinda highlight the word a little bit and it'll actually go and if you click on it it'll go put the word into a Google search which is pretty cool as well so that's Tagsido. Um, I hope you guys find this useful as you continue to work on your media projects and that's it for now.